In the tranquil beauty of the world's coral reefs, hidden in plain sight, lurks a silent assassin, a creature so deceptively innocent-looking that one wrong step could lead to a world of unimaginable agony. It's not just a sting, it's the worst pain you could ever fathom. A venom so potent, it can induce respiratory difficulties, cause muscle twitching, vomiting, heart arrhythmia, and leave you with a burning sensation that defies comprehension. This is the story of the stonefish sting, a venomous encounter that can lead to tissue necrosis, paralysis, and an unrelenting torment that tests the limits of human endurance. With its remarkable camouflage and potent venom, this enigmatic creature has earned its reputation as one with the most painful sting on Earth. The stonefish, scientifically known as Sinensia, is a master of disguise. It gets its name from its appearance, which closely resembles a rock or a lump of coral. Its rough mottled skin, often covered in algae or other marine growth, makes it virtually indistinguishable from its surroundings. This deceptive camouflage helps the stonefish remain unnoticed by both prey and potential predators. Measuring around 30 centimeters in length, the stonefish is not a particularly large fish. Its small size and seemingly benign appearance make it even more intriguing and menacing. Its strategy relies on stealth rather than strength. But the true danger of the stonefish lies in its venomous spines. Along its dorsal fin, the stonefish has 13 sharp spines that contain venom glands. When threatened or disturbed, it erects these spines as a last line of defense. The stonefish is renowned for having the most painful sting of any marine creature, and is considered one of the most painful stings in the world. The excruciating pain caused by a stonefish sting is due to the extremely potent venom it delivers through its dorsal spines. It's a neurotoxin that targets the nervous system, causing paralysis and, in some cases, respiratory failure. The venom of the stonefish is designed to incapacitate prey swiftly, and this venomous arsenal makes the stonefish extremely unattractive for marine predators. People often mistake the stonefish for its close relative, the scorpionfish, due to their similar appearances. Here are the key differences between the two. Stonefish have 13 dorsal spines with potent venom, making them highly dangerous to humans. In contrast, scorpionfish usually have fewer spines with less potent venom. Stonefish excel at mimicking rocks and coral, with a uniform appearance often covered in algae. Scorpionfish have more intricate and colorful patterns on their bodies, helping to distinguish them from stonefish. Stonefish are smaller, with an average length of around 30 centimeters, and are commonly found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans near coral reefs and rocky seabeds. Stonefish are generally sedentary, often burying themselves in the sand with only their dorsal spines exposed. Scorpionfish may exhibit more activity, but still rely on ambush tactics when hunting. Despite their dangerous nature, stonefish are not inherently aggressive towards humans, most accidents involving stonefish occur when an unfortunate diver or beachgoer unknowingly steps on one, causing the fish to defend itself. The stonefish serves as a fascinating example of nature's adaptations and the delicate balance of life in the oceans. Its unique camouflage and venomous defense mechanism remind us that even the most unassuming creatures can possess extraordinary abilities. While the stonefish may be a small and deadly fish, it also underscores the importance of preserving the rich and diverse ecosystems of our world's oceans, where such remarkable creatures continue to thrive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.